Yes? From Bruno, who wants a big toy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know size isn't supposed to matter, but I'm a girl who's always impressed by a really large bit of equipment. <laughs> I'm Thank really you. impressed by that large bit of equipment, so I think you can do it. Thank you very much, Tate. But uh, yes, from Copstick, Oliver. Well, Matthew, I've um, my daughters have got toys at home, and I can't do them. And there's no there's no sticks to move. It's just with your fingers, and it's hard enough doing it that way. So I don't believe he's going to do it. Thank you very much. That's a no from Oliver. You're right. It is a hard challenge. Here. He is an expert, though, Robert. Well, I'm, uh, like Kate, I, I'm impressed by, by the size of equipment, but I'm actually threatened by the size of equipment, and I'm quite depressed, and I'm going to say no. <laughs> he won't bring it near you, Robert. <laughs> I won't let him. <laughs> will be smashed. Two yeses, two noes, a split down the middle here. Let's see if they're split amongst the audience. Place your bets now, please. And don't forget, you can do this at home. This is your ritual chat at home. Get off that sofa, fight each other. <laughs> Shout about it. And a massive 80% are backing John here in the studio. So that'll put him under pressure. John, are you ready? Yeah. You have two and a half minutes. Good luck. Your time starts now. One minute, 30 seconds. <laughs> we did it uh, well, just exactly in the nick of time there. And I, I have to say, we did it every single time with one second to spare all the way through the day. So you deserve this award and the medal that everybody gets, ladies and gentlemen, John Barnes. Well <laughs> well yes. Bruno, you get 80 points. Nice one. Copstick, you get 80 points. He's coming nowhere near my house for that digger. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
came out of your house. What do you mean? <laughs> Oliver, you said no, you don't get any points at all. Robert, you get no points either. Well, I get 40 at least. No, you don't get any. <laughs> no, you're heading for this challenge at the end of the show. And of course, you see, 80% of our audience were right, and those points will get turned into pounds at the end of the show and donated to charity, as per usual. So, from earth movers to skydivers, here's our man with the proverb. I think it was Confucius who said, when the six green dragons fly onto the target, there will be great rejoicing. I think it was also Confucius who said, check fly before speaking in front of the camera. <laughs> but that's another story. Now, is it possible to get a six green dragons to actually fly onto this target? Well, it would be possible if they were paragliders and they were from the Green Dragon Paragliding Club in Essex. Let me explain. The six paragliders will launch into the air on two tow ropes at the back of two vehicles. That's three pilots to a tow rope. When they reach a height of 1,000 feet, they will disengage from the tow ropes and then they will descend to land on this target one by one. By the way, this is not the target. This is the target and it's just 30 centimeters in diameter. Now, each of the six are going to have to hit this target for the challenge to succeed. Now, how will this be achieved safely and accurately? Well, let's meet the challengers and put them on the spot. Put them on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Hiya. Oh, yeah. This is Andy Shaw, the one-time holder of the World Accuracy Championship title and the current holder of the British title. So we know that you know what you're doing. So introduce to the rest of the team and tell us whether they know what they're doing. From the uh, right, the first person is Steve Willis, Steve Conn, Mike Busby, John Lawrence and Tanya Starling. And amongst them, they've all been uh, current British champions within the team. And Steve has been a current individual British champion as well. Well, tell us about paragliding then. When and where did it start? Paragliding um, started about 25 years ago, really when we were just toe launching parachutes in the sky. And with later developments, amalgamated with hang gliding now, because we both have a wing that we um, toe launch from an airfield. We both have a wing that we glide off the sides and the hills and the mountains with. So it's sort of an amalgamated national body. How many controls have you got on these parachutes? Two controls. Right and left. Right and, <laughs> and, sl and slow down a little That's bit. That's pretty accurate to me. <laughs> <laughs> so when you slow down, you kind of stall the thing yeah. to land. Yeah. I see. And how much help do they get from the rest of these uh, hangers on round here? <laughs> All the ground crew is uh, to do with the launching of the parachutes. We have uh, two people on each parachute just inflating the parachute paraglider for the uh, actual pilot. So everybody here has a job. Yeah. Now, uh, what about the weather? The I weather. mean, Mad Rock is pretty full there. Is this good for the challenge or not? At the moment, the wind are, the winds are just increasing a little bit at the moment. We've got a good weather forecast this morning. Light southwesterlies. Cloud base is lifting. Cloud base is about 1,000 feet today, so we should be getting about 1,000 feet. Um, so it's looking good? It's looking good. Excellent. Okay. Well, we have all the facts at our disposal now. This is not a flight of fancy. Just bring your bets into land. Thank you. <laughs> Cop stick. This is one for you. Well, kind of on the face of it, it does seem they've got about as much chance of success as Nana Muscuri at a Bon Jovi concert. <laughs> <laughs> but that is exactly why I think they can do it. So I'm saying yes, Matthew. I'm saying yes. <laughs> I'd rather be voting on Nana Muscuri, <laughs> maybe. It's a lovely image. Thank you very much. Stick right, Oliver. Matthew. Um, me, personally, I'm scared of heights. I would not go up there. For no reason at all. How can you be a show jumper and scared of heights? Yeah, I mean, I'm scared of real heights. I mean, jumping on a horse is a little bit different than going up in the sky on a, on a parachute. So, um, you've got to be pretty brave to go out there and do it in the first place. So I'm going to say, yeah. Okay, right. Robert? I, uh, I don't think they can do it. I think they're all too sort of... Like that, like that. Tense. Yeah, they're tense. Yeah. They need to sort of be like that, and they won't yeah. like mellow out. Mm -hmm. really, yeah. So I'm... Uh, no, no. I'm going... I'm sticking with me now. That's right, you stick with you now, Bruno. Well, actually, I, I fancied having a go at that on my last holiday, but it wasn't the, uh, the wind pressure or the low cloud that put me off. It was the hangover. But, um, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I mean, to, to rely on six of them, actually, pinpoints it, with pinpointed accuracy, I don't know, I, th I think it's a bit too optimistic. So I'm going to say 
no on this one, I'm afraid. OK, fair enough. That's uh, two yeses, two noes yet again. Let's see what our audience here think. Place your bets now, please. I hope you're doing this at home, you know. This is what we call interactive television. And you're the interactive bit. Oh, well, look now, 31% only think they can do it. Well, it is a difficult challenge. I think it's a case of a wing and a prayer. Well, this chap's not practicing his forehand volley, but is, in fact, indicating to the ground crew and paragliders that everything's ready for the challenge to begin. And there go the first team. Up, up and away. There's Andy in the second team. And that's all six airborne. Now they must gain the correct altitude and disengage from the tow rope. Hiya. Well, very brave effort. What went wrong with that? Um, we, we still haven't achieved it yet, but we know as individuals everyone's definitely capable. Um, it's just a hard thing to organise with so many people from the ground crew, like it's 26 people you see on the ground. I think the, the hardest thing is like getting the communication of all together and you're proud and you're proud and you're proud. I think it's something that we're really eager to keen that we can do. Why don't you just widen the spot? A bit. <laughs> because in competitions, like, it's the electronic pad and that's the size of the competition. Oh, never mind. So you then. could make it a bit bigger, but... Well, you didn't have done that thing, you'd be much easier. <laughs> Here's your scroll. Do it again. No, you can't. <laughs> Take your scroll and your medals, ladies and gentlemen. The Green Dragon paragliding team. wise no there, Bruno. Thank you. And you go up by a 60 odd there to 149. Uh, Kate, you said yes, but you still got 80 points there on the board. Oliver, you said yes, and you... Mm, it's looking very <laughs> promising. <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> Stays or not, you said no, Robert, so you start off with 69 points there. Splendid, so you're in third place at the moment. And, of course, 69% of our audience were right. Well, that's part one, floating towards the break. Join us in part two when we skip the light. Fantastic. I'll see you then. Ta-da.